last day of primary one and now you're going to be a big primary two girl. Can you believe that? Yeah. How do you feel? I feel happy. Why? I feel so excited. Do you feel excited? I'm happy. I'm oh. <laughs> One man and his guitar. You have an Ella. Ella, what have you got in your wee tricks for the last day of school? Um, what did my brother have? Peanut butter. Peanut butter. And uh, I had peanut butter and Nutella. And Nutella. <laughs> and Nutella. <laughs> Nutella. fresh order has arrived. I've just laid it all out. I'm looking at my recipe card just now and this looks delicious. Now as you know we are huge HelloFresh fans. I have been for years. I think the first time we used it was probably now about five years ago. So we've been using it forever. I just love the fact that you can pick what you want now. Like the actual variety now is incredible. There's something crazy, like over 30 dishes to choose from every week. So there's something for everybody. There are vegetarian options, you have got speedy options. So if it's something you really want to make quickly after a long day of work, there are so many options for everybody. Now, for me as a family of four, what we normally do is get a box for four people and the portions are massive, so it always gives us leftovers for the next day's lunch, and it's perfect for that. Especially if Fraser's working a later shift, we usually just put things in some Tupperware, and then he'll take it to work with him, which is ideal. So I'm gonna show you what I've got for today's dinner, and then what I've got for the rest of the week. Yeah, the variety is incredible, and if you use my code COOKWITHASH, you guys can get 50% off your first box, so that's a full week worth of meals, and then off your next two boxes you'll get 35% off. So it's an amazing deal. If you haven't already tried it, you have to try it. It's fantastic. We love it as a family. It also gets you trying things that you wouldn't ordinarily choose. Plus, I find for me, see, because we have these recipe cards, I become such a better cook because I keep all of these in like a little wallet folder. So they put, obviously they're A4, so they slide in perfectly into like a booklet folder with Polly Pockets. And it means you can save them for other days. If you have something in the house and you have something in your fridge and you really want to try a recipe, you can have a look and see what you can make. So it's great for people who want to be able to cook but can't cook and everything you have comes in the exact portion. So as you'll see on here, in this recipe for Porky Penny, I need to have pork mince, so it'll give me the exact amount, a garlic clove, Italian herbs, penny pasta, Worcestershire sauce, finely chopped tomatoes, red wine stock paste, cheddar cheese and baby spinach and all of those items will come in the exact amount that I will need for those four portions which is amazing for us especially from a food wastage point of view you're not wasting as much and a lot of people do ask me as well is HelloFresh a cost effective way to do your shopping it really is because how many times do you buy things for a particular meal then forget what you're meant to pick up come back home missing ingredients all of that the portions are great sizes and there's something to suit everybody so definitely check it out I'm going to put all this away now and back to this little tip when I put everything away from HelloFresh I keep it in the bags because it keeps it all organised for me. So I'm going to pop it away in the bags with the number here. So as you can see, this one number 13 correlates with number 13 on the recipe card. And all of my ingredients are inside this bag. So it makes that putting away the food shopping so much easier when you're literally lifting a whole bag and popping it in the fridge. So I'm going to do that just now, get everything away, and then I'll show you what that looks like later when I make it up. Plus the kids will love that. They love all things pasta. Anyone else's? I'm going to go make a coffee now and get on. I've got a little bit of filming to do today and I've got to go and get Ella in an hour and a half. 
because school holidays are starting at one o'clock and then we're heading over to the fort. I'm getting her measured for some school shoes today so we're going to do that and um, just getting ahead of time, getting organised. So I'm going to measure her feet. I've actually bought her shoes recently that were a bit too big for her and I definitely thought she was a 13 so I'm taking her to get measured to make sure that everything we buy her for going into school in August is going to fit right. So that is what we're going to do just now and then she's got dancing later and we need to get Charlie from nursery about quarter past three. So I got her teacher a little present as well, I got him some chocolates and I got him an Amazon gift card because I didn't really know what to get him and I just feel like that's something really practical you're going to use isn't it, like an Amazon card. So I got him that and I got him a card and in fact the card's so cute, let me show you. It says, Turtley amazing teacher and I feel like he'll love that. And Ella's so into animals, so she was buzzing when she seen this. So I'm going to do that bit now, get all organised and have a little coffee before I start filming as well. I like to try and get a lot of these jobs done in the morning so that by the end of the day, when I'm doing things like getting dinner sorted and getting into their clubs, I just feel like I don't stop. Like honestly, see what people said to me, when your kids are at like school age, you're literally just like a taxi service. They weren't wrong. Like literally my day is get up, get them ready, take them to school, go and run all of my errands or whatever I have to do. Sometimes go to the gym, do my work, come back, pick them up, bring them home, take them to clubs, pick them up, bring them home, get another club. Honestly, literally like a taxi service. And at least they tip well. They tip well in kisses, so I cannot even complain. Let's address the elephant in the room. I have got a little bit of a bruise here. I got my lip filler done two days ago, three days ago now. I've got a little bit of a bruise here. I bruise easily. So be gentle when you handle me. What a song. Yeah, I do bruise really, really easily. So I've got this kind of like little moustache going on, which isn't the best, let's face it. But I want to show you my dress. This is the nicest ever like polo shirt dress. I got it from H&M and it was honestly £15 but see if you're a loyalty club member, like if you have an H&M points system membership then like you don't pay for that, it's free. If you have the membership thing I'm sure it's £9 and it's so nice. I've actually not buttoned it up today because I've got fake tan on I don't want it to transfer on the collar but it's so so nice. So I've got this on with my chunky trainers and I just feel really Put together a collar just always makes me feel like I'm like I'm dressed anyone else right let's get this stuff away I did want to say to you as well see if you have got hello fresh and you've got these cards you don't always need to have the card you can actually use their app which I didn't realize until I downloaded it there so it's free you just download the hello fresh app and then you've got all the recipes on here to look through so you can pick the ones that you've got so if you don't want to have the cards and you're more of a kind of digital aesthetic digital learner then you might want to go through there and also you can get your plans so that you can build your plan so that you can choose which box that you want to get and then all of the items that you want to have in your box as well so really really good just crazy. I am taking her out after to pick some shoes and I thought I'd throw on this wee dress because it is a warm day out there. How nice is this? It's from Primark. I think it was about £10 but it's like cold shoulder so it's got the little frill here and the strap there and then it buttons down and it's just lovely. It's a nice bordeaux only material and these little sandals. I actually can't wait to get rid of the uniform for a few weeks because she's got so many nice things for my birthday that she can wear and Ella's so into clothes just now. In fact, we were recently watching a video from ages ago where she did like a kind of like what I wore in a week 
and Ella saw into YouTube now she's like how will I do another one of them so hopefully during the summer holidays I can show you some nice little styled outfits because you don't need to spend a fortune to get some nice stuff like Primark really do it well and then these sandals have lasted forever they have been through the wars and they just keep bouncing back they're Mero sandals um, and they're just absolutely gorgeous I love them so much they're kind of like gladiator style they're really nice but yeah let's go and get her from school and we need to give the teachers present as well not gonna lie did feel a spit of rain there honestly we're meant to get a heat wave over the next week or so my friend messaged me today she's like the weather's to be amazing well they're off in summer holidays but we live in scotland therefore we could end up with rain and a heat wave the way it is today where it's really muggy we right, finished the sentence right Sure. School's out for the seventeenth. The seventeenth. Fair enough. What other words you think you fit in there? What's just happened? What are you off for? School's out for the seventeenth. That's all. The summer holidays. School's out, girl. We got your feet measured, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And we also went to Poundland. Oh, I forgot to get cake stuff. I knew there was something else we were looking for. Wait till you see what Ella's teacher got them. I put it in here. I'm going to try and cover it because I don't really want to like put all the details on. But she got this. She got this wee like star thing. I don't know if you can really see it. But basically on the star it's got her name engraved on it and then the school name and then the term that she served and then from and her teacher's name and it's actually the nicest thing so he's done that for every kid in the class I just think that's so lovely I have like another three dancing classes left until well I'm hoping they're going to do like a summer school thing I don't know I think there might be a break and then did they do that a lot? <laughs> there's um, going to be a, hopefully like a what would they call that like a summer boot camp thing so they can go to it kind of like semi-regularly over the summer holidays and keep their fitness up so fingers crossed you get to do that would you like that yeah. if like cheer if like you're cheering your dance did like a summer holiday thing like a summer holidays class <laughs> anything you'd like to add mm -hmm. I like bubblegum. <laughs> <laughs> oh man rain's pouring it's not great but we move. Woohoo! You did it! Go you! <laughs> yeah. I was bubble gum. <laughs> you watching Luca? Yeah. yeah. It's good, isn't it? But he's running! It's so cool! Like, what's this? Is that is is it. Whisper to you. What? Oh, I see. What? <laughs> this is such a good film. We've been watching it for the last hour. And it's just been so nice. Just chilling with them. It's a horrible day out there. And just something nice to do. Yeah, we've got dancing later, but not, not yet. Say, so come on, baby. Come on, baby. So we're gonna sit in the car. Let's go, dancing time. In the front. You managing? Yeah. Oh, this, this, this. I've accepted defeat and called in the comfies. It's a proper wet play day outside. Elle's way to dance and so I'm gonna get cracking on with dinner. So I've got, what half an hour before I need to collect her. This says it'll take 20 minutes. So obviously I need it to take 20 minutes because I need to then leave to collect her. She finishes in about 35 minutes. So yeah, I need this to be super speedy. So if you look on the menu here, it will tell me that it is number 31, no 13, <laughs> number 13. So I'm literally just going to go to the fridge and grab that bag. So here's bag number 13 and I'm going to check if everything matches the ingredients on the list and if there's anything else, usually meat. And um, with the other thing, I'll just need to grab that from what's on my shelf. It also came in the box, of course, but didn't actually go into this bag. We keep the meat safely, which is also for good reason. So I've got two bags of spinach, which is on the list. I have got 
pasta. I have got chopped tomatoes, chimes, two. And then I've also got these little ready measured ingredients like, what is this here? Worcestershire sauce. I've got my Italian herbs, which is also on my list. And then I've got my red wine stock paste. I've got these. So the only other things that I don't have on the list that I need to get from the fridge are cheddar cheese, the garlic clove and the pork mince. So those are in a separate bag. The good thing is, is I use this as a little bag for all of my cuttings and waste as well, so it keeps it really tidy. Right, quick scan through the menu. It's going to obviously ask me to cook my pasta, which will take 12 minutes. I'm also going to have to um, drizzle some oil in a pan and fry off the pork meat and bake it up with a spoon and then peel and grate my garlic over it or use a press and my Italian herbs so I'll stir that and then we will make the sauce separately. So this is going to be really, really quick. It's genuinely so, so quick um, for this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get cooking. <laughs> They're trying to get pasta out of a bowl or a pot of boiling water. It's like harder than fishing. Mmm. That's perfect. So, I've managed to make three lunch size portions, probably dinner size actually, quite big portions for tomorrow and then I've also got all this left for tonight for dinner. So literally all I'm going to do now is leave these to cool down before I put them in the fridge and tidy up a little bit. I've actually got nothing to tidy. I literally just need to put away the recipe cards and the rest of that bag of spinach. I didn't go too heavy with the kids like you know what it can be like. So we have got extra. I could probably pop some on top of these Tupperware boxes before I pop them into the fridge and I'll put the lid on the big pot so that when I come back it's all still nice and warm and it'll be a nice temperature for the kids to eat and that'll be dinner sorted especially when she finishes so late tonight it's like half past six when she finishes so knowing that dinner's ready for her just to eat and then chill for a bit and then get ready for bed it's perfect so that honestly took me 18 minutes to do that and then another maybe three or four minutes to just get everything into the Tupperware so that is definitely like it's so worth it What was your favourite part of primary one? Like of starting school, what was it, what's been your favourite thing that's ever happened or your favourite part about going to school? What was your favourite thing about primary one? Because, because we get to do art. Like doing art? And what was your favourite bit of art that you've done? Probably see the starfish. Oh, your starfish drawing? Is that your favourite that one? Was, that was my first one. Yeah, that was, that was your first drawing? Yeah. Very good. And what was your favourite thing to do in gym? Play toilet, toilet tech. 
Oh yeah, toilet tag. Is that like so? Explain that to me. So in, so if you're tug, you have to put your hand like that, and then somebody puts your hand down. Like flushing you. Yeah. yeah. Managed to learn um, uh, how to write a sentence by myself. That is very good. That's a really good achievement. And how about numbers? Did that, did I did that in my daughter once. Yeah. What kind of sentence did you write? I forgot. That's, I know one of Wait. them. What was it? I went to Nan and Papa's house. Yep. No, no, because um, I just made it out with Father's Day. Oh, did you? Wait, what other ones did you do then? And there was one. There was one off bottle. Um, did you know bottle come? I only had one. I made it out with. That was good. And then I did the rest. You're very clever. I went to get. No, no, it was ice cream. I ice, could do and you bubble got bubblegum ice, ice cream, is it bubblegum flavour? Yeah, I didn't know it was got ice cream yet. And there was good pictures as well. Is it a? A, K, A, K, R, A, A, mm, quite hard. Anyway, it's time for bed. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.